six ham made antennas antennas that are made by hams individual hams not corporations we're going to talk about those today I like ham made products and there's a lot of really good antennas out there that are commercial grade, commercially available, such as Alpha Antenna, Buddy Pole, and DX Commander. We're not talking about those today. We're talking about ham made products, smaller companies, individual people, single one man show projects from several different people. I'm going to pick the top six of the newest antennas that I've seen. Some are HF, some are HT antennas, and we're going to talk about them right now. The first one is from ZBM2Industries.com. This is a Foul Weather Whip Antenna V2. This is a very well-made antenna. It comes in different colors. It comes in B and C. He does sell adapters for them. You can see the different colors right there. I had this antenna on my radio. I still have it on my radio right here, actually. At Hamvention, in May of this year, and some people asked, "What antenna is that?" And the great thing about this antenna is it doesn't have it doesn't really get a memory even after having it rolled up like that. He calls it a foul weather antenna because it's waterproof. It's not going to get anything in the connectors. It's got these waterproof connections right here. This is a B and C style connector right there. I've just got the adapter on the radio, and I've been very happy with this antenna. It is kind of tall, so it has. It kind of, sometimes it takes a little bit to get it all put together on your belt and whatnot. But I've been running this antenna for about three, maybe four months now. Been very, very happy with it. He's got two or three other versions on here um, on his website also. And you can save a discount with the coupon code of KC5HWB. I'll put a link to this and everything else we talk about today in the description below. Number two is a close second or perhaps a close first. This is the signal stick. Now I've talked about these a lot. This is a signal stick antenna right here. These are super elastic signal sticks. They are also HT antennas, and you can see them in different colors on the website also. I've got a bunch here. This is the one that I took off of my, uh, my uh, Yezu FTX-1 that I did the video about. Different sizes, different colors like that. These guys are at Hamvention. They're at Hamcation. Well, they were at Hamcation for the first time this year. These tend to get a little bit of a memory in the antenna if you kind of roll them up like that. Still not a super huge thing. If you just kind of like un unroll them and let them sit out by themselves, they'll pretty much get back to to the straight angle. Not It, it, it won't take too long at all. I know several guys that run these on a mag mount on top of their vehicle and use them for a mobile antenna. These will handle about 75-ish watts of power so you can turn your 50 watt VHF UHF mobile radio up all the way and you can get really good results with this uh, Robert from the digital rancher channel he has used one of these on top of his truck to actually make contacts with the satellite from his ICOM 2730 inside of his vehicle so you can't really complain with that over here on the website he has a SMA female and a B and C um, different style adapters there a dual band 2 meter 70 centimeter the 440 mono band and the 220 mono band I've been after Richard for a while to make a, uh, a tri band version hopefully one of these days he'll he'll do that and I know when I talked to him this May May of 2025 at um, him Dayton Hamvention he was looking at n making a 900 megahertz antenna for Meshtastic I don't see that on the website yet but I would not be surprised to find that very soon so check out the link in the description below for signal stick as well number three is another HT extension antenna this is the Faraday antenna from vfcoms.com now I have a couple of these I actually have about four of these and he actually did these up for me because he's real nice put my call sign on them and whatnot. This is the J and the J pole right here. I believe the one I'm holding in my hand right now is the 440 mono band. He does not make a multi-band antenna, at least not at the time of this recording. I've got four of these antennas. I've got a 6 meter, a 2 meter, a 440, and a GMRS, which is tuned around the 462 megahertz band. But they all have these B and C connectors on them right here, and then they come with these loops to hang them from you can hang this on you know anywhere you can hang it on a push-up pole like the poda 20 or poda 33 mask from gigaparts you can hang this from a hook and set it up at the campsite and it'll be a it's obviously very weatherproof 
So it'll be a great addition to your campsite. Make sure, make sure HT range reach out a little bit farther. And obviously it packs down very small. The great thing about this antenna over other external antennas that you might put on an HT, and we're going to talk about one of those here in just a minute, is that it folds up so nicely because it's made of cloth. So really great quality antenna, really fun to kind of tinker with and see how how well it works. I did hook one of the, I hooked the 440 version of this, actually this one right here. I hooked this one to my FTX1 the last time I was in Galveston and I hung it from my deck in Galveston. So it was up probably like 10 feet, nine or 10 feet in the air, something like that. And I was working the local repeater from the FTX1 in Galveston with no problem. Really like that antenna just because it's very small and compact. Another one that I've used in Galveston is the spool antenna. This one's pretty new. This one's one of the newest ones we're going to talk about on today's video. This is a unique design. It comes on a spool. You just kind of put a screwdriver or a small post through the antenna and you deploy it and it works for HF bands. This is an HF antenna and it'll work for 40 through 10 meters. This is basically an in-fed half wave antenna that you can roll out to a certain length. You just roll the whole thing out actually. You roll the whole thing out and it's a 40 meter in fed half wave, which means it's resonant on 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. Once you roll the antenna out here, you connect it to the B and C here, and then you hang this, you put this, I put my feed point on the ground. You can hang the feed point up from a mast if you want to. I hung the other end of the antenna up from this mat, from a mast in my video. There's a banana plug that connects right here as well. This is where you connect your coax. And then this, this wire that unwraps connects right here via banana plug. And you can just put a screwdriver through the center hole right here and wind it out and wind it back in fairly easily. Kind of like that. So you can wind it out, wind it in like that, kind of the way it's designed. You, this piece right here acts as your toroid and infed half wave uh, count, uh, matching unit, the un, un And then the wire, like I said, just connects right here. Got some really good results from this antenna when I was in Galveston last time. Did a whole video about the prototype. This is the actual working version which is up on their website and for sale right now. Very small, compact, easy to carry around. And if you want a 40 to 10 meter HF antenna, this one, this one's just great because it's it, it fits so well into a pack and you can carry it around pretty much everywhere you go. It will handle a full 100 watts on sideband too, so that's always a good thing. Now, while I'm out on POTA, I always feed my antenna with Mezzi and Plony Coax. Mezzi and Plony Coax is the sponsor of today's video. You can save a 10% discount on all of their products at the link in the description below, which will take you to the Gigaparts website. Use the coupon code of HR2Cables. HR2Cables get you 10% off of their coax, connectors, adapters, their tools for putting adapters on and taking adapters off of their coax, their POTA cable, their colored... Um, Ultraflex and Hyperflex cable, all of their products, HR2 cables get you 10% off. Check the link in the description below and thank them for sponsoring this video. Another one that's similar but a little bit, uh, been out a little bit longer than this spool antenna is this real potable antenna. Now, it looks like on this website, I just found this earlier today, they've got a new version right here. This one right here is a BNC, which is a special order, and then this one is a new version, and I'm not sure what's new about that one. This one right here on the left it looks like it's fed with an SO239 or PL259 coax. And that's the and the one I have is fed it has an SO2 the, the antenna has an SO239 on it so you can connect regular PL259 coax to it. I haven't seen this B and C one yet. So I'm wondering what's new about this version. I'm going to have to email the guys and talk to them about that. But I had this antenna with me at which park was that? It's one of the national parks I just went to. Mesa Verde National Park. We stayed overnight in a cabin in the park, and I strung this antenna out from the balcony of our deck of our cabin, which was not up very high. I strung it out into the field, and I was making FT8 contacts. Turn the radio down to 50 watts. This will handle about 40, 50 watts on FT8. Turn the radio down to about 50 watts. Made 50, 52 contacts in about maybe a little bit over an hour or something like that. Maybe about an hour and a half, maybe about 90 minutes, something like that. It might have been a couple hours. I didn't look, really look the clock to see exactly how long it was, but worked great. Love this antenna. You roll it out all the way. You get 10 meter FT8. You crank it in about six or seven times, and you get a full 10, 20, 10 15, 20, and 40 meter in fed half wave antenna. Great antenna. I made a video about this antenna on the website when it was brand new. It's up here. I'll link it right here, and you can go check that out.
The last one we're going to talk about today is the Ed Fong J-Pole. Now, I sell the Ed Fong J-Poles on my website, grapevineamateurradio.com. It comes in several different variations. The dual band roll-up looks like it's sold out right now. The dual band roll-up is a fantastic one to put on an HT and set up at a campsite as well. I had my dual band roll-up Ed Fong J-Pole at Hamcation in Orlando of 2025. And I had it connected to my Kenwood D74. And it was up about, I don't know, 12 or 15 feet, something like that. So we were Bluetooth connecting to my radio and using the TNC and the Kenwood to connect to a local WinLink packet node. We were sending real-time WinLink emails over RF through the HT, Bluetooth to the HT, using a WOD, a WinLink over Android, to connect to the radio and then transmit RF to a local WinLink packet node. And that worked very well. The dual band in PVC is a good dual band. You just put it in PVC and put it up on your house. It doesn't really look like an antenna. It just looks kind of like part of your plumbing or something. They've got a 220 monoband version. They've got a GMRS monoband version. And then they've got the uh, the dual band PVC and the dual band roll-up, both in commercial versions. So there's six variations of this antenna. He actually does make a tri-band one also. It's about seven feet tall and kind of hard to ship, so I don't carry that one. But again, Ed Fong, you can find two or three or four dealers around the USA and you can contact Ed Fon directly and see what he might ship to you by himself because he does sell direct to the public as well. The prices reflected on my website are the prices set by Ed Fong, so you should be paying the same prices everywhere. But uh, these have been, I've sold over a thousand of these antennas over the last three to four years, all different variations. And they're great antennas for base stations, for packable antennas, packable roll-up J-poles, for GMRS, for all of the bands, and everything like that. So those are my top six picks for ham-made products. All of the products I mentioned today are individually owned. They're just a single guy making an antenna, or a single couple sometimes. I think the spool tent is actually made by a couple. Single couple making an antenna and selling it to the ham radio public for... A little bit of profit, but also to give it back to the ham radio public. So which one do you like? Have you used any of these? What do you think about them? And if you have any more ham-made antennas that you would like to see me test out or you think I should know about, put a comment in the video below. Thanks for watching.